Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. This is Michelle. Well, I have a 24 by 24 gallery wrapped canvas. I just prepped the edges. And I have um, I've taken that brown, which I did a painting yesterday, but I haven't uploaded it yet because I'm having technical issues. Oh, shocking. And um, I'm gonna use this. I lightened it up with a little bit of titanium white and then I've darkened it up. Now, my thought here is, because this stuff is so reactive, I put some metallics in here to maybe make it less reactive. So this is gonna go along the edges, this is gonna go in the center, and I'm hoping this all works out. I did do a practice tile, I'll show you. Of course, the tiles always turn out different than actual floor. So my colors, this is um, pe uh, Pebeo Iridescent Red Blue. And I think I put some Iridescent Blue Violet in here as well. Yes, yes I did. Uh, Pernacro Nicolazo Gold with a little bit of gold in it. I can't remember which one. This is um, this is doo -doo -doo -doo, Matisse, Australian Violet, and I put a little bit of um, Modern Masters in Ruby. This is Golden Green Gold, always reactive. This is, um, what is this? This is Iridescent, Golden Iridescent, um, no, this is Modern Masters Pearl White mixed with some iridescent from Golden. And this is Deco Art in Obsidian. A little bit darker for me. These are colors I'm not used to, so bear with me. Um, yes, no blue. Oh my gosh. What will she do? <laughs> so I'm going to... Whoa, I'm almost filling my paints here. So I am going to flood my canvas. I'm going to put there we go. Hopefully that'll flow off correctly. Then I'm going to put this in the center. That should be more than enough paint. And here we go. I'm going to tip it off. Tip it off. And tipping it off. Become British all of a sudden. Alright. I wanted more of that. lot more to tip off <laughs> a lot more so when I first laid these colors down on the test tile it, it looked horrid but it developed into something really cool so I am going with that and there is a lot more of that beige color. That beige color, it reacts like crazy. So, do I have more of this? I do, actually. I have a whole other thing of it. Alright. Because we want more of it. One of my um, subscribers gave me a lesson in, in Yiddish the other day. <laughs> she said I was saying the thing, things wrong, which I don't, I don't doubt that at all. Um, where's, where's the Schmitzer, Schmitz tape rather? Oh, where did it go? 
there it is. Big schmutz. Got to make sure I've got enough paint off. So we don't want a lot of base paint on. Of course, this stuff is so reactive, guys. I mean, geez, it doesn't really matter. You're going to get pearls. And this is from that $2 like painting number three and I still have enough left for three more paintings um ew it's gonna end up on my feet um and both of these colors are made from that dark brown so here we go oh my god it's exciting it's exciting and it's nerve-wracking so I'm going to put oh, I know what I'd like to do I want to put this in the center. It almost looks blue. Oh. God, I hope that was the pearl. Yeah, it is. Oh, I didn't put this down. I do, did now. A lot of color. But this paint beats up the color, so I don't mind putting a lot of color down. And I'm just going to move it, move it, move it. It's a lot of pink in the center. might just let this stuff sit and not do anything to it. I know, I know, I know what you're saying. How, how is that possible? Oh, jeez, Louise. Look what I just did. All right, I'm just going to go with it. That obsidian might have some blue in it. No, I'm going to wreck my no blue. I'm getting good at flipping these canvases around. Oh, there's another one. All right, my hands are full of paint. Come here. of this paint off. I see another couple of them. Where, where, where? Right here. And right here. Come on. There we go. Alright. Wow. I'm just gonna leave it, guys. Oh, I'm gonna put you on fast time lapse because I really don't want to touch this. But you know me, it might happen. Um, because this is so reactive, I want to just see what it's gonna do. All right. Oh, good. I was recording. Um, and then I'm gonna clean up this mess down here. So here you go. all in well this was a really good study in um, 
for getting to know your paints. Um, the only thing I did was I tried to fix that little blob there, but and then I pushed some of the paints off with a straw here on the corners. And I wanted to see what that would look like if I didn't push, and it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, this is really neat. These paints are super reactive. It's the, um, look at all those tiny, tiny, tiny little ones. And then there's lots of lacing. Yeah, these paints, it's an indoor-outdoor paint. Maybe that's why it reacts so much. I'm not sure. But um, it's that bare $2 sample. Not even a sample. It was um, a mist tint that I got. So it looks like the Quinacridone Nicolase of Gold mixed with the gold doesn't um, produce all of this. But look at that. Isn't that cool? Look at that center. So, and that almost looks gray. And I've noticed that the white uh, produces a lot of um, contrast, so I think I would probably add more of the pearl white next time and not put that um, obsidian next to the orange or the, the quinacridone nicolase of gold. But overall, I mean, look at that. That is so cool. I love it. All these tiny little purple cells coming through. So, very cool. Very, very cool. I'm liking it. So we'll have to see how it dries. I think it's still reacting, so we'll see what it looks like in the morning. Please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ciao for now.